This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Valentine Instagram. For creating the Instagram story, we have to change the dimension of our project. So, I am using the 1080 by 1920 resolution. 1080 is the width, and 1920 is the height of my frame. Also, my frame rate is 60, as well as, the duration is 10 seconds longer. Now the first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it background. Make it to the comp size, and use this love type of color. Do you know, sometime we express the feeling with colors. For example pink is love, red is danger, white is peace, and black is negativity. Now create one more solid layer. I am calling it a pattern, and using this dark pink color. Of course, you are free to use your own color. If you are making it for your friend, then you can use blue, or gray. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the Venetian blinds. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the transition completion value to 30%, and change the direction value to 90 degrees. It will make the lines horizontal. Again, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the wave warp. Apply it right below the Venetian blinds. I am not sure if you can see it on YouTube, but it will create this nice looking wave pattern. You can change the look of this pattern, by changing the wave type. I am going with the sins, and everything else will remain the same. Let's change the transition completion value to 20%, to make the wave pattern thinner. Also, change the wave speed value to 0.2, to make the movement slower. Check the animation, and see if you like it. I am changing the speed to 0.5. And it will look much better. Let's select this pattern layer, and change its scale value to 105%. So that it will look similar on the edges. Cool. Let's add a mask to it. Make sure to select the pattern layer, then go to the tools and select the ellipse tool. Now double click on it, and it will apply to the layer. Then select the move tool, and double click on any anchor point to get the transform tool. Then hold shift, and control key, while scaling down the mask. I am making the mask smaller, so that it can fit right inside my frame. Now go to the layer, and change mask to subtract. Then press F, to open feather, and change the feather value to 500 pixels. It will make the mask edges soft, so that it can blend with the background nicely. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Import your image into the project. Place it on top of all layers. If required, you can adjust the size of it. I am keeping a size of 30%, so that the image can fit right where I want. Let's place it right here. Then right click on this layer, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it image, and click on move all attributes into the new composition. Let's add a reveal animation to it. Make sure to unselect any selected layer, then go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid color. And my stroke is set to none. Now create a rectangle, so that it can cover the image nicely. Cool. Let's rename this layer as the image mask. 
and then select the move tool. Now, expand the rectangle tab, and then transform. Here, select the rectangle, and then you will see this anchor point right between your rectangle shape. We need to place it on top. So, select the anchor tool, by pressing Y then grab it, and place it right on top of the frame. The exact anchor point value will be zero. Now click on this link icon, so that we can change the scale value individually. Cool. Let's do it. Change the last scale value to 0%. Then go to the first frame, and add a keyframe on the scale. Now go to around 2 seconds position, and change the scale value to 100%. And this is our animation. Now select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, and if your graph doesn't look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Now select the end keyframe, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how the animation looks now. Cool. Let's minimize it to get some room. And now we are going to add the track mat tab here. If your track mat tab is not available here, then press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is celebrating the election results in the capital of India, then right click here, go to the columns, and choose modes, as well as the switches, because we are going to need it. Now change the track mat to the alpha mat. And now the image will look like this. You may ask, why in this religious world, I did this time taking process. This is because I can move the image anywhere I want, but it will always stay in this rectangle shape. Let's add a scale animation to it. Make sure you add the first frame, then add a keyframe on the scale. Now go to around 10 seconds position, and change the scale value to 110%. It will add this nice zoom in effect. Cool. Now I am adding a stroke to this image. So right click on the image layer, then go to the layer style, and choose stroke. Now open this stroke setting, and first, I am going to change the color of it. Let's keep it white. And then change the stroke size to 10. Cool. Let's minimize it, to get some room. It's time to add our text. So go to the tools, and select the text tool. I am using this font, you can download it from the link in the description. Click anywhere on the screen, to add your text. I am adding be my valentine. Now select the bottom text, and change its size to around 300 pixels. Also, I am changing the line spacing to around 290 pixels. And it will look like this. Let's align it to the center. And now we are adding a small animation to it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the transform. Apply it onto the layer, and change the skew value to negative 10. And this is how the text will look now. I think the text looks a bit larger, so I am going to change the size of it. Let's keep the size of 70%. And also, I am keeping the white color. Now right click on the text layer, then go to the layer style, and choose drop shadow. Now open drop shadow, and change the blend mode to normal. Also, change the size value to 0, and opacity value to 100%. I am also changing the color of it. Let's keep this color for now. And then change the distance value to 15. Cool. This looks good to me. Let's add some animation to it. So go to around 2 second position, and make sure to select the text layer. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fade up characters. Apply it onto the text layer by double clicking on it, and it will start animating right away. Now press U, 
to open keyframes, select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Cool. I think I don't like the color of the drop shadow, so I am going to change the color of it. Let's keep this color. Now the last step. We are going to create the heart particles, without using any third party plugins. So create a new solid layer, and call it heart particles. Choose any color you want, and then hit OK. Now again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC particle world. This is an inbuilt plugin of After Effects, you don't have to download it from anywhere. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, we need to import this heart layer into the project. You can download it from the link in the description. Place it right below all layers, because we don't need to actually see it. Now select the heart particle layer once again, then go to the effect controls tab. Here, open particles, and change the particle type to the textured quad polygon. Now open this texture option, and change the texture layer to the heart layer. It will change the particle shape to the heart shape. Now change the depth size to 0.02. As well as, change the birth rate to 1. It will decrease the value of the particles. Cool. Now open physics, and change the velocity value to 0.5 as well as the gravity value to 0.2. Now change the extra value to 0, and then change the longevity value to 2 seconds. Now go to the timeline, and change the blend mode of the heart particle layer to screen, and then grab it, and place it right below the image layer. Cool. Let's select the starting point of it. You are free to play with the particles setting, to match with your own idea. I am going to place the starting position of the particle layers to one second. You can do it easily, by pressing the square bracket key on your keyboard. Check the animation, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.